Syracuse football suffered their second straight loss of the season this past Saturday against Pitt. Offensively, the Orange continued to struggle, but the defense held their own. Picking up action in the first quarter, Pitt quarterback Kenny Pickett drops back and finds Jordan Addison for the score. Pitt up four going into the second quarter. Stephon Thompson, the freshman linebacker around the edge, sacks Pickett. This Syracuse defense again played great for the second week in a row. Rex Culpepper in the game now. Starting quarterback Tommy DeVito was shaken up on a sack the play before, but no worries for the redshirt senior. Culpepper finds Taj Harris for the 69-yard touchdown bomb, the first touchdown of the season for the Orange. Great story with this one. Culpepper battling cancer two years ago, defeats the cancer, and now he's throwing dimes. Can't help but root for the man. Syracuse with a 10-7 lead now, but that would not hold. Kenny Pickett punches it in from one yard out, and the Panthers now a 14-10. Syracuse driving with some momentum and it's put to a stop by Paris Ford. The screen pass intercepted and it's the Panthers going the other way. Pitt started to run away with this one. Pickett drops back, finds Jared Wayne for the touchdown. That would do it with the final Pitt 21, Syracuse 10. Here's head coach Dino Babers after the loss. That if we can get something going on offense and special teams, that we're going to have a defense that we can really be proud of when the smoke all clears. But uh, obviously we've got to make some changes and we've got to start getting that ball moving in the right direction. The last time a Syracuse football team started the season 0-2 was back in 2013. That team finished with a winning season and a bowl game victory. The Orange look to flip the switch this Saturday as they take on Georgia Tech at noon. Josh Miller, Mornings on the Hill.